Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Sonic Yoda from Sega Driven back with another mini review of a Sage 2014 Act 2 game. This time we're tackling Sonic Mega Drive. Sonic Mega Drive comes courtesy of Felix, who some of you may remember from his previous fan game, Sonic Fusion. As the title suggests, Sonic Mega Drive is pretty old school in its design, with the only extra ability being the spin dash from Sonic 2, and even that's an unlockable. Sonic Mega Drive thrives off its simplicity, and the two-act demo is extremely dynamic in its design. The two acts are stuffed with great level design that is a mixture of tight platforming and visceral speed. This section in particular is an absolute joy to behold. The game takes an interesting approach to its graphic design, by melding custom tile sets with existing art from games like Sonic Rush Adventure. This gives the game a 32-bit look, which means the colourful artwork really pops, but it's firmly rooted in the 16-bit era thanks to the choice of Sonic Sprite and the 2D gameplay. What makes the game so enjoyable to play is how tight the engine is. This is Sonic exactly as you remember him, and the engine perfectly emulates the feel and control of 16-bit era Sonic. Stage design is also spot on, and it never feels like you run into enemies or obstacles unfairly, as they've been placed with great care to make sure that the player is challenged but not hindered. My only complaint can be directed at the soundtrack. Now don't get me wrong, this is by no means a poor soundtrack, but the songs are more atmospheric than thematic. This means that while the game has a satisfying tone, it doesn't have any tunes that you'll be humming later. This is at odds with traditional Sonic soundtracks, which are full of catchy little earworms. Like I said, it's a minor complaint and it's more down to personal preference, but I thought it was worth mentioning. All in all, Sonic Mega Drive is a stellar 2D Sonic fan game that takes all the best bits of the Sonic franchise and makes them a hugely enjoyable experience in their own right. Also, we can't finish without mentioning the bosses, which are lovely little remixes of past Sonic bosses. Robotnik himself is wonderful to fight, and his introduction is really striking thanks to the massive tree he decimates on entry. I really can't recommend Sonic Mega Drive enough.